all right quickly in this video i'll be teaching you how to make a social media flyer design all right so i'm just having this picture right here so i've already imported it to my work page and i have this smile so you can just duplicate it and for it to duplicate you can just click and drag it to, and you can also press the shortcut ctrl r so once you click on it it's going to show you this um arrow sign like that so you can just drag it at the side and shift it up to slant it all right so next thing i'm going to do right here i'm going to just make a gradient on my page and have it a great a gray gradient with white so i'm going to have it on a gradient fit and next thing i want to do is i want to drop some content and at the at the down part all right so i'll just edit this and just add the text here. i'm going to make it white background then a black text on it just very simple and nothing much like that all right so we can have it and we have this like this next thing i want to do right here the next step i would like to do right here is i would like to um edit the text and make sure everything is perfect and everything so i'm going to zoom in and just try to make um some kind of light lightning effect on the face so i'm going to just draw a circle i'm going to have a green and with a gradient of yellow okay so i'm going to make it um okay so right there and you have it like this so you got, what you need to do is just go to your effects then you go to um okay let's just add, uh, adjust the, the gradient very well okay let's go to effect go to effect then you go to blur you can see and click on gesham blur so in that gesham blur you can always adjust adjust it um, to your taste anything you want it, what you need to achieve too so after doing that so you can just go to your bitmap and convert it to bitmap so make sure your bitmap is rgb and just fine to go and you make sure you click on transparent background okay so next thing i would like to do is just check your transparency into and just click on the normal drop down button then you can just click on overlay so you are going to have something like this so it's just like a lightning effect on the on the face i don't know if you get what i'm saying but it's just very simple so you can just get the lightning effect on your face by doing this simple step all right so okay so i'm going to duplicate this to the other side and i'm going to adjust it to where i like putting it so, so you can also just make your own probably your own, you might just put it on the on the dress anywhere you want to to put the the lightning effect but depending on the picture the the picture orientation but this i'm having a portrait so i'm just i just like to put the lightning effect at the side at the side view of the face so just very simple like this and next thing i like to do is let me just um make a little adjustment on the text okay so just very simple i'll try to um uh, make a transparency on the text the the the, the second one the third one and the third one i'll be making use of outline so very simple just take your transparency into so you can just reduce the transparency to like 20 30 or just you know you can just reduce it to the to suit your taste so if you are if you know you are just okay with the transparency and depending on the color you are using so i'm just making use of this green and that's i'm just trying to reduce the transparency a bit not too much so i'm just going to make the last one outline so i'm going to fill it with outline then make it um white thin so let's just have it outline green outline so that's just cool about this and uh, i would like to add some additional stuff to it like let me just say butterfly let me add a butterfly to it okay so i'll i'll do that right now So I have the um, this flower background down right there. So I have the butterfly on the flower, but, but I don't want to use the old flower. I just want to cut out the butterfly. So you can always download um, your butterfly PNG, butterfly PNG. So you can always download it. But I just have this. I just have to cut out the, the butterfly out from the flower background. <laughs> just very simple, and just use my shape to to cut it out. You know, just since it's PNG, so I don't need to do much on it. So I just cut it out and. 
I would like to make a little effect on this butterfly. You know, we are just having it normal butterfly like this. There is not any motion. There is no motion um, effect on it. So I just like to put a motion effect on it. Like you know, very simple. Okay, so let me duplicate this, and I'm having like this, like this. Okay, so I would like to add a motion blur to it, so it has a motion effect on it. So you can just go to your effect, then go to blur. Go to effect, go to blur. Then from blur, you can see motion blur right there. So you can just click on motion blur, and you can always adjust it. Don't let it to be too much. Just very simple, and like just. 10 20 is okay so you don't need too much so you can see we have the motion effect on it so by using your motion block all right so i'll just duplicate this and have it i can just reduce it a bit not too much <laughs> all right this is just very simple and i hope you just like this step this very simple step so and um, in my next video i'll be doing more of this and I would like you to subscribe to my youtube channel like and share to your friends this this video you might find it helpful to you thank you for watching don't forget to li like subscribe to my channel thank you for watching i love you